in this episode of Finno Brick Machining we are continuing with uh, bicycle rebuild. And uh, first uh, we are going uh, we are we are going to try to straighten this ring. Uh, it's uh, quite wobbly at the moment and uh, yeah so uh, that's first thing and then we put a tire on it and uh, see how it does. So uh, let's go on with that one. Okay uh, what I have done in advance now is that I have marked in this rim all the places with a pen here you can see one marking, the violet lilac, uh, which uh, have something special like uh, they are. This one, for example, has uh, a bumper. Uh, and if I go further, this uh, is also a place. There is a bump under there. And if we go furthermore, there is one place which has uh, well, uh, it's uh, not straight. And then we have again. I, no, this is different. Uh, so I have marked uh, all the places which we should now straighten. And this uh, to straighten these uh, edges is very really important because if they are like that, when you uh, break, the break uh, shoes will uh, it will bind uh, uh, different places, and uh, the breaking effect will be really funny. <laughs> uh, might be said uh, funny. Uh, so it can bind here and it might uh, not be really good. So, uh, therefore it's essential that uh, these uh, should be taken away. Uh, fortunately, these are really mild. I already consulted my son. My older son is a specialist in this. And uh, consulted and he said that uh, it might be a mission impossible. Uh, normally you should uh, take all the all these pins away and then uh, in, on some, some flat surface try to bound these uh, straight. But I try another method here. So let's see how this goes. Um, well, yeah. Fortunately, we don't have... Uh, well, do we? We don't have a lot of uh, deviation in uh, in the axial direction, and that's really good. Or if we would have that, that would be really bad, uh, almost impossible to deal with. But this one is now, well, let's see how it goes. Uh, well, <coughs> straightening uh, these booms uh, here. Uh, it's quite simple, really. Uh, you just uh, hammer them back in. Uh, for example, we have a bump here. I can feel it with my fingers. It's uh, there. So what I do, I have something to support from there. And uh, since the bump is there, I just put this over here. Uh, this there is to keep it in a correct angle. And then, with some really light taps, yeah, it's in. And there is another on the other side as well. Uh, this is uh, not a precise job, but it will take care of most of them. Um, okay, that's okay. And uh, let's see, there is one at this place. Lucky me, these are really sharp in a way. Oh yeah, and then that's. Uh, I already uh, taken care most of them. Uh, uh, just uh, left a few for you to see how I did this, and now uh, I think we have now managed to get uh, 
this uh, quite straight. It's not straight, but quite straight. The next thing is to get the general wobble out uh, from this uh, thing. Okay, I'll set this up and then we will see how this is done. <clears throat> okay, uh, now uh, we are trying to take the wobble out from this uh, ring. And, uh, well, I have uh, set my magnetic uh, uh, <laughs> stand here. Uh, it uh, is uh, just a reference so that I can see for example, I can see that uh, there is a high point. It uh, there is an other high point here and about here. Okay, so this is a high point. So that means that these two are too tight and this is too loose. Okay. So I tighten uh, this in the middle a little bit and then loosen the two around it. And this, the changes are really, really, really minimal. And as you can see, uh, It's still a little bit. This must be tighter. And these adjustments are really subtle. Uh, nothing uh, like just a quarter turn from that. And no more. There's, there is a high spot there now. And now this is uh, lower and it's around here. So this is high, so I have to loosen this a little bit and tighten the two around it. So, let's see. There is one low spot only left. Now where is this? There is your low spot. So this is low. So I tighten these two. And loosen this one just a little bit. Huh. Vanished. Now let's see how much we have. We have one, one bubble there. There. This is too low. This is too low, so now just take this to a little bit higher. Still a little bit low. Okay. Hmm. Starts to be there. That's a little bit low, so higher. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see now if 
if I could write it this way that, that's high that's high so take a little bit down from here <laughs> there was the bump so probably just a little bit bump left there that's a high spot so that's high so I have to get, take it a little bit down like that That's high. So this is high. Still a little bit high. Well, it's not perfect, but We have about two millimeters of wobble now. This is definitely a long start there. So this needs to go down. There is a really low spot here, so this must become higher. Tighten, tighten, lower. Yeah. This is high here. It's very short, so it's not general wobble. Okay. Not perfect. Now it's down to one millimeter. And that's uh, enough for me. Okay. Next thing, we put in a tire. Uh, before we put a tire in here, uh, we need to put the, this kind of thing. And uh, this is uh, to protect the. Uh, there becomes an inner tire, which is which is actually holding the air. And then, uh, because we have all these uh, small uh, screws here, uh, they might be sharp, and therefore we need a thing like this. And when we have to find out uh, the hole for the uh, 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 ventil, <laughs> whatever that is in English, uh, valve maybe. So, uh, and this needs, uh, there is a hole in this one, uh, which uh, should be, of course, on the same place as the valve. <laughs> and then you just put this on. I washed this with uh, just with soap and water, uh, just to ensure it uh, doesn't contain any 
any oh well it didn't go on place you see it's not on place I need to <laughs> adjust it <sighs> why do I always end up in trouble should go there when I just go around like this. We have to make sure that it's uh, everywhere in place. This one is not it's there and even the valve place seems to be now there. And now let's ensure that uh, it's where, uh, okay, there we have one place where it isn't, like so, it's there. Now, first step in place, and then uh, we take uh, a tire, and uh, let's see if these have uh, do they have a rotating direction? This might have. Hmm. Uh, I cannot see any. Anyway, okay. So, if there is a rotating direction, then you uh, put it that way. Now, you just put it uh, the other side in there. And uh, you really shouldn't be needing any tools for this. This should go there manually. Sometimes these are a little bit tight. Sometimes. And this time this is tight, really. Unbelievably tight, actually. Ah, crap. What is holding it? Because uh, this uh, step should be really easy. Okay, the last mile. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, it's halfway there. Uh, the other side is there, and now. Uh, you probably noticed that I didn't put the in inner tire there in advance. So now it's the time to do this. And uh, uh, I usually put uh, a minimal amount of air into it. But of course, uh, uh, the valve first. There. Then you go, and this is sometimes a bit, little bit tricky to do, and you should avoid any bends or anything in the tire. There you are, and this is the good point to put this little ring there, just to hold it in place. Uh, Sometimes if this is really tight, so it's um, probably a good idea to use some uh, something like soap or something. But what you do now, you just gently, please, really gently, put this inner tire there. And see that it's uh, about in the correct place. Like that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so now uh, let me fetch a pump.
So here we have a pump uh, and we, then we put the valve there. Uh, I'm not going to inflate this uh, or yeah, inflate totally full. I will, oh, this is a little bit uh, tricky. Okay, now. I'm just wanting to have some air there. What is this? <laughs> it's uh, really strange. And then let's see. Hopefully this is the correct side. No, it's not. Uh -huh. There you go. Side, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Then just put the, that in, and now let's see. And uh, this is more than enough now. Maybe too much, actually. So, don't put a lot of it there. The, only, the reason for this is to keep uh, this sort of uh, straight. And now, we need to see that uh, this tire is in correct place. And now we just uh, start. And the best uh, place to start is near the valve. And uh, now you need to push the valve in so that it uh, this uh, side of the tire should go under the, the valve. A little bit more. Now it's there. Yeah. And then you just go around. Put your tire on. And uh, this is by no means easy task to do. <laughs> uh, it becomes really hard when you get uh, near this point here. And uh, yeah, it uh, wants to go away from you. And now I will, because now the air has done what it was supposed to do. To Put the uh, in a in a tire in a suitable place. I release the air a bit so that we can really put this and this is going to ah uh, there you see what can happen. Uh, this uh, inner, inner tire wants to come uh, in between there, and that's not a good thing. And the last mile is really the most difficult one. You need to squeeze it all over the place. Push the valve in and etc. There is like that. Okay. Okay. Next centimeter. Ideally, uh, this goes uh, to get in without any tools at all. And yes, it's very uh, comfortable to have it in, in a vise like this. Okay, next centimeter. And be 
don't cross the inner it's almost there uh, just a little, little bit more we need to go around and see where we have okay and then as you can see there it goes uh, just uh, a little bit patience and uh, no things like this just bare hands and uh, persuasion centimeter by centimeter and now this could be taken out a little bit and then I put some air into there not a lot that's more than enough well of course the valve needs to be tight <laughs> okay now a little bit work out here just to put it in place sometimes these are really 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 tight okay be straight for once in a lifetime and now let's pump a little bit more This is, by the way, a very good bicycle pump. pump. It's uh, lightweight, and uh, you know you probably noticed it's almost full at the moment. So uh, fast acting too. Yeah. Let's see. Looks really nice. It's not without, uh, totally without wobble, but I can see that there is no axle wobble, which is really good. It's one of the worst things if, uh, if it's wobbling that way. So now, let's pump a little bit more, because this isn't enough. Um, when you are uh, putting air into this uh, kind of uh, thing, uh, these were not uh, not uh, enforced. Uh, there are uh, bicycle tires with Kevlar uh, thing, and these you must use really high pressures in order to uh, not allow the tire to flex, uh, because uh, this flexing will cause the tire to break. The Kevlar is uh, it cannot bend. Okay, now, pew, okay, so starts to be tight, I believe this is, oh wow, this became really good, okay, it straightens when, you, when I pump air into it, <laughs> okay, but it's still, yeah, quite near just a little bit, little bit more and there you are ah, yeah. there you are okay and now I check this thing here that it's really tight oh. 
Oh yeah. And then we put the captive. Like that. Well. That's our back wheel. Okay. Uh, here again. <laughs> uh, we are setting up uh, the front wheel. Uh, well, uh, this is considerably uh, easier than the back wheel because, uh, well, it is. And now uh, this has... Uh, uh, I didn't want to loosen the other side of the bearing race. There is a tightening nut uh, and uh, the nut uh, which you use to adjust this. So uh, I left this alone. So now, uh, well, we are again doing this trick. And this time, uh, you, oh yeah, and uh, of course you need to, uh, you can uh, put a little bit more this time, this stuff here, uh, because, uh, well, uh, there are no ratchets uh, and no fine mechanisms here, so, yeah, and of course you don't want to put any hair what is this hairy stuff in my... Oh. Okay. I have human hair in my... Okay. So, and then this goes either way. I put it that way. And now... Uh, well, there it is. Uh, well, let's put a little bit more this stuff around here. This time it doesn't hurt. Uh, because there will be no oil with, uh, with which it would uh, mix. So this just keeps it uh, the moisture away from there. That's also one thing we are after here. Okay. And then, uh, yes, uh, it goes without saying I did clean up these really well. Uh, so uh, are the bearing races as well cleaned. Uh, and now we put the wheel there on top. There you are. Very simple. And then we have the other side. And there uh, as well this uh, creates. Okay, there you are. This time it doesn't really hurt if you have uh, some excess there. It, it's uh, quite all right. And then uh, goes this. I put it this way, like there. And then this is the bearing race. Goes next. This is a 13 millimeter. Thing. And for this one, you need a low profile tool to put this together. And uh -huh. uh, our extra crease wants to come out. <laughs> okay, let's take it away. Well, this wheel also has some wobble in it, so but we can uh, get rid of that. That's uh, not a problem at all. So, uh, now that we are here, next step is the protective band here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But this is always interesting how it uh, does this. Uh, how in earth uh, does it manage to get itself? Uh, okay. There you are. Now it's in place. Yeah. Next step. The tire. And as you remember, these tires didn't have any, any directional properties. So we just put it there. Mm. 
So the first should pass should be easy. Should be really. Uh, the other one also cost me some trouble. Oh yeah, this was easy. Again here. Yeah. Now we look for the where is the there is the valve. Okay, now we just put it there. As simple as that. Try to keep it straight. Yeah. Okay, we need to make sure that this uh, outer tire is sitting behind. Uh, yeah, now it's sitting behind it. And we can now continue with this one. And again, it doesn't, if you now would just push there, it wouldn't go. You have to go back here and uh, work it around and uh, just uh, centimeter by centimeter. And finally you get it. Put it towards uh, the middle there. Oh. Uh, yeah. hmm. I have the nut in there because this one doesn't have flats. You have to be very, very careful with that. Okay. We are very near now. Oh yeah, there it came, went. And uh, as you could see, it was uh, a no-brainer, this one. <coughs> Quite hard, a little bit more. There you are. Oh yeah, I think we are done with this one as well. So this was all about the wheels <laughs> this time. And uh, so we straightened them, uh, take out the wobble and uh, installed them. And we noticed that there is a slight uh, bearing problem in the front, front wheel. This might become an issue in the future. Uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, then I just need to replace the front wheel. Uh, I have a good front wheel there, uh, but I try with this one first. And if it doesn't work, then I just it change it. Uh, quite simple. And now, uh, in the next episode, we are going to do uh, additional building uh, for this one. Uh, we will probably have two episodes after this one. So. Till next time, see you!